Hello, namaste. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. As you can tell by the title probably, this is just going to be a short and sweet, calm and relaxing yoga flow. We're just going to really move and breathe into the body and tap into that wonderful parasympathetic nervous system of ours, which just calms us down basically. Um, we don't need to be spending a whole lot of time on the mat and we don't often have a lot of time to be here in this space. So yeah, just a short and sweet one today and Thank yourself for showing up here because that is often the part of, hardest part is just getting here on your mat. So we shall begin at the back of our mats today in a toe stand. So just tuck the toes under, lean back onto the glutes. If that is quite a lot for you, just come down onto the palms or leaning onto the fingertips. Bring your hands to heart center. Big inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Closing down the eyes here if you wish. We'll chant a single om together. Inhaling for om. Ah. Shopping into a space of presence here, a space of connection, or at least having that intention to connect to yourself, to your body to the here and now. Inhale, open the eyes if they're not already. Open the arms wide, open the heart, look up. And then exhale, rounding the upper body, bring the right hand to the left shoulder. Left hand comes to the right, rounding forward. Inhale to open and then swapping sides, moving with the breath. Tucking that belly to spine as you round forward. Inhale to open. Exhale. Slowly taking your time. Maybe chest. Chin comes to chest rather. You round forward. And a couple more times on either side. Letting go, coming down into tabletop, just pitter-patter out your feet there. So just tapping the tops of the feet onto the mat or onto the ground. Then taking your time, you're going to press up into downward facing dog. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Maybe keeping your knees bent a lot to start, or moving your hips side to side. Before finding a little bit of stillness. Reach those glutes up towards the sky. Shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, opening the hip here. Maybe creating some circles with the knee and with the hip one way and then the other. One more inhale here, and then exhale, big step outside of the right hand. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, dropping that left knee down. Inhale, right hand comes to right thigh, opening up. Maybe coming onto the outside of the right foot there. Exhale, coming back into that lizard pose, tuck the toes under, maybe rocking forward and side to side a little bit here, breathing into those hip flexors. Exhale, moving to Skandasana now at the back of the mat, slowly walking the hands over, left knee bends, right leg is straight, and then right toes are flexed, so active, pointing up towards the sky. Hands come to heart center or hands here on the ground. Heel does not have to be touching the ground either. So just keeping the integrity in the upper body is what we're looking for. Inhale here. And then exhale, slowly walking back. 
into that lizard pose. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do a couple of rolls here with the spine. So just bending the knees a lot, rolling forward almost into a plank and then bending those knees, pressing back. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, bending the knees, pressing back. One more time. And then Adam Mukhasvanasan, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Moving over. Onto the other side now, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Maybe bending that knee towards the glutes, opening up the hip. Maybe creating circles one way and the other. And then exhale, stepping to the outside of the left hand this time, opening up the heart, coming down with that right knee, opening up left hand to left thigh, opening up the chest. Maybe coming onto that left edge of the foot. Next, exhale. Releasing, tuck those back toes under, keeping a nice open heart here, rocking back and forth, maybe side to side. And then next exhale, Skandasana, back of the mat. So walking the hands over, bending that right foot, left toes pointing up. Inhale here. Exhale, walking back up into that lizard position. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to roll forward again three more times, creating those wave-like motions with the spine. Moving with the breath, keeping soft. One more time. Meeting in downward facing dog. Now we're going to slowly walk up towards the top of the mat. Maybe rocking back and forward just a little bit, breathing and moving into the hamstrings and into the calves. No hurry. Inhale. We're going to reach all the way up. Look up. Exhale, slowly bending those knees as you're coming down, coming down into a toe stand again now, but keeping the heels off the mat. Engage the core here, relax the shoulders, relax the face, crown of the head is reaching up towards the sky. Inhale, reach forward, forward, forward as the knees come wide. Exhale slowly, coming down onto the glutes. We're going to come into a Paschimottanasana now, which is a forward fold. So keep the toes active. I encourage you to start with the knees bent, regardless of how flexible your hamstrings are. See what it feels like to keep them bent. Then inhale, reach up. Imagine you are kind of climbing a rope here. Exhale, reaching forward, 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 connecting the tummy with the thighs. And you can stay here with your hands on the shins, on the mat. Or if you can, just begin to lengthen those legs whilst keeping your tummy connected to the thighs. Inhale to lengthen the spine wherever you are and exhale. Maybe coming forward a little bit more. We want to keep a nice openness in the heart, so not rounding forward too much, maybe looking at the toes. A few more breaths here. And 
And we're going to come out the same way we came in. So inhale, reaching forward, 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 opening up the heart a little bit, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands down to the side. Coming into reverse tabletop now, so just countering that position a little bit. Bring the hips forward slightly, hands are behind the glutes, fingertips facing your legs, and then inhale. Exhale, we're going to press up and away from the mat. So pressing out of underneath the knuckles, press those hips up, 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 up. Staying here for one more breath. Exhale, releasing. Slowly making your way all the way down now for a final twist. Maybe bringing the hands into a cactus shape here. Bring the right knee over the left. Inhale. Exhale for a twist. Drop those knees over to the left. Maybe left palm comes onto the right thigh. Keep those shoulders connected to the mat. Inhale back through center, swapping sides. And exhale, knees falling over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Just begin to roll back and forward a little bit here. Coming up, rolling down the spine, back and forward a few times. And then we'll meet in a seat to close off the practice. So just find a nice comfortable seat, perhaps how you started. Just comfortable enough to keep your spine nice and straight. So if you need to sit on a cushion, I encourage you to have your hips over top of the knees. So we don't want our knees super high away from the ground, but rather if you can lift the hips up, you'll find it a lot more comfortable. So closing down the eyes when you are there. We'll close the practice with Brahmari breath. So that's humming bee breath. So there are some mudras you can do with your hands to support this uh, pranayam practice. But today we're just going to keep it simple. We'll do it three times, keeping the palms facing down on the knees. Perhaps you can bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly if you like. But basically we just inhale and exhale, hum. Mm -hmm. Like so. So almost like chanting om but with our mouths closed. And then we don't want to hum for a super, super long extended period of time. It's not like we're trying to do it long. It's a nice firm hmm, and then it will naturally finish. And we'll do that three times. So I'll start us off the first time and then we don't have to all be doing it at the same time. So once you start, you can just do the next two in your own time and then we will finish in some stillness together. So, Take a big inhale through the nose, exhaling out the mouth, relaxing shoulders, inhale to begin now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just letting go of the breath when you are finished. Noticing any sensations you're feeling in the body, perhaps with the fingertips or the crown of the head. Feel the vibration. 
and energy moving through the body, relaxing that nervous system of yours, telling your body that it's safe. Feeling calm and relaxed, yet re-energized as well. That's what connecting to our breath and our bodies does for us. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Into your third eye. In between the eyebrows and bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I am aiming to share more practices on YouTube so I can share the yoga medicine far and wide. <laughs> but otherwise, I am always sharing yoga and meditation practices and yoga off the mat videos inside my online yoga family membership and all the information is down below for that. And yeah, I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day or day ahead wherever you are in the world. Much love. Om Namah Shivaya.